So now let's talk about partnerships. One way to minimize the disadvantage of the sole proprietorship and maximize some of the uh, advantages is to have more than one owner that share ownership of the business. And that's where the idea of a partnership. That brings us to the second form of business ownership, which is a formal partnership. That's a form of business organization that's defined by the Uniform Partnership Act as an association of two or more persons who carry on as co-owners of a business and do so for profit. Typically, partnerships are larger than sole proprietorships, but smaller than corporations. Typically, although not always, some of the large accounting firms and law firms generate a tremendous amount of revenue and profit, even though they continue to operate as a partnership. Partnerships can be a fruitful form of business as long as you follow some keys to success, which we'll talk about in the next slide. There are generally two main types of partnerships. The first is a general partnership, which involves a complete sharing in both the management and the liability of a business. In this type of partnership, each partner has an unlimited liability for the debts of the business. Professionals such as lawyers, accountants, and architects also often join together in these general partnerships. Notice that each partner has unlimited liability for the business itself, for the whole business. A limited partnership has at least two, excuse me, a limited partnership has at least one general partner who assumes the unlimited liability. There has to be unlimited liability in, uh, on some entity or some individual, some partner, but there can be more than one general partner. But at least, and a limited, a limited partnership has at least one limited partner whose liability is limited to his or her investment in the business. Limited partnerships exist for the risky investment projects, such as discovery of oil and the like, where in some individuals put capital to work but don't take on the unlimited liability associated with running a general partnership. Limited partnerships exist for these kinds of investments because the chance of loss is great, but those putting their money in don't want to accept complete liability. Limited partners do not share in the management of the business, but they do share in the profits according to the agreement. Examples include real estate partnerships, oil drilling partnerships, etc. Also venture capital, private equity investment firms, and the like. Most states require either general or limited partnerships to have articles of partnerships, partnership, which are legal documents setting forth the basic agreement between the partners, between the general partners and between the general partners and the limited partners. Articles of partnership usually list the money or assets that each partner has contributed, called partnership capital. They state each partner's individual management role or duty, specify how the profits and losses of the partnership will be divided among the partners, and describe how a partner may leave the partnership as well as any other restrictions that might apply to the agreement. So there's a legal, it's a legal, part, a legal agreement among the partners about what each will do, the capital that's in there, and how the profits are distributed and the like, and the losses as well. There are some advantages to a partnership. Uh, when you decide whether to go with a partnership versus some other form of ownership, uh, you want to take these, these advantages as well as some of the disadvantages in, into account. Some of the advantages are that partnerships, they're easy to organize. Starting a partnership requires little more than drawing up the articles and the terms. They have higher credit ratings due to the partner's combined wealth, the wealth of the partners involved. Remember, they all have, they're all drawn upon as, uh, as having unlimited liability with respect to the business operation. Partnerships can specialize in their particular areas of expertise, such as in accounting, accounting and marketing, those kinds of things. And partnerships can make decisions faster than larger businesses because the partners simply decide. Government regulations on partnerships, like sole proprietorships, are relatively few, more than sole proprietorships, but still relatively few when compared with corporations we'll talk about in a few minutes. Let's talk about the disadvantages of partnerships next. If you're deciding on a partnership, you want to understand some of the problems that might develop or some of the disadvantages when compared 
to other forms of forming, a, other ways of forming a business. For example, some disadvantages are that general partners do indeed have unlimited liability for the debts of the partnership, just like a sole proprietor, just like a sole proprietorship. Partners are responsible for each other's decisions, and a bad decision by one partner can put the other partner's personal resources at risk. Partnership is terminated when a partner dies or withdraws, and it's easy or it's difficult to sell a partnership interest at a fair price because of all of the entanglements associated with the other partners involved. The distribution of profits may not correctly reflect the amount of work done by each partner. When you think about it, things change over time, and so some partners may become less of a contributor over time, but still, because of the partnership agreement, draw most of the benefit. Partners cannot find external sources of funds as easy as large corporations can. Those are some of the, some of the uh, challenges of partnerships. Um, let's talk just for a minute about taxes. Partnerships are quasi-taxable, meaning the partnership does not pay taxes while they do file a tax return. This is simply to report on the profitability of the organization and the distribution of profits to the partners. That way the, uh, the Internal Revenue Service knows what the partners have received for purposes of their individual taxes. Partners must report their taxes, their share of the profits on their own tax returns and then pay taxes, tax at the rate that they would as an individual for their income. Let's talk for a minute about some of the key success factors of uh, business partnerships. It's generally a good idea to keep ownership and profit sharing 50-50. Otherwise, even though you might say you're a partnership, there is an employer-employee relationship that might um, become uh, might might that that sense might start to develop. Uh, partners should have different skills so they complement one another. Uh, honesty obviously is critical when you're dealing with partners, and each person is uh, has unlimited liability associated with the organization. And there's a, important to maintain face-to-face -face communication so everyone knows what's going on. You're one entity working together. Transparency, sharing of information is likewise important. You've got to be aware of the funding constraints, not overspend and the like. Uh, you don't want to put yourself in it or your partners in a situation where neither you nor your partner can get additional financial support. Uh, you need to have lots of experience at what you're doing as well as in the partnership context. Uh, whereas family should be a, be a priority, be careful to minimize the number of associated problems associated with family members in partnerships. And you don't want to become too infatuated with the idea of a partnership as opposed to its implementation. Optimism and reality, you got to make sure when you're forming your business that your growth and your planning expectations um, seem reasonable. And one of the things about some of these, uh, part, these like sole proprietorship and partnership you can reorganize and restructure um, into corporations down the line. Google, for example, uh, they partnered to form uh, the search engine Google back in uh, 1996. Larry Page and Sergey Brin formed Google, and then they eventually they incorporated um, and moved forward when they wanted to raise external capital. They formed a corporation. Uh, which is what we'll talk about next in order to grow into the next phase. So it is possible to move up. You cannot move down. You can't go from a corporation to partnership. You can, but it's, it's, it, there's a lot of complication associated with that. And we'll talk about some of that in the next lecture.